All right, guys, welcome back to this week's episode of Every Kick. Now, I do understand that this was a day late due to me working uh, yesterday, which was Bank Holiday Monday. Not ideal, guys, but it really couldn't be helped. Um, Yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the news. I do want to say now as a bit of a disclaimer, all of this news isn't really in specific order. I do try and group it where we'll talk about one team first or a player first and all the news around that team or player and then sort of go on to each topic like that. Uh, Andres Iniesta, first of all, has uh, finally completed his move to the J- Japanese uh, team Vissel Kog, obviously, who also have the likes of uh, Lucas Podolski, um, the ex-Arsenal man. So, uh, yeah, it's um, going to be an interesting one. I mean, I, I don't really use that league on FIFA, but... Um, I think it could be could be tempting to have a play around with Ultimate Team uh, going into FIFA 19 and yeah, seeing what seeing what kind of uh, team you could build with the the, J- the J- J- Japanese league. Bloody hell, guys! You could tell I haven't had my coffee already. Moving on to Arsenal, uh, apparently in talks with Lichsteiner on a possible free deal. Now, a lot of people are complaining about this. He is 34 years old. He can still do a job. He's experienced. I think he's a great option. Uh, getting him on a free, I think, is fun- would be fantastic. I'd be pleased with that. We've got Hector Ballerin. I think it could be the bit of a, a nudge that Ballerin possibly needs. Ballerin hasn't had a solid competitor um at Arsenal since we had like Bakary Sanya so you know it's I think it's going to be good I think it will be good if it does go through obviously I think Bellerin will be our first choice still but like if Bellerin's having a bad game we can say like right we're going to drop you we're going to start playing Lichsteiner unless you sort yourself out because I think at the minute a lot of our issues are we've got these players like your Bellerins that can get away with bad performances because we've not got the depth to actually not play them but getting Lichsteiner we've then got that depth to go right Bellerin you're playing absolutely toss at the minute you get on the bench for the next game or two and we're going to see how Lichsteiner plans out Uh, Arsenal are also interested in (laughs) I said that really weirdly interested in signing Roma midfielder Lorenzo Pellegrini could mean that one of the midfielders is on the way out it might not be the case when you look at the fact that we've had an injured Santi Cazorla for a while obviously he's now gone on to leave the club Um, we've got free wages in that regard we've got a free space in that regard and yeah you know we have our problems with midfield we have injuries in the midfield quite a lot we've got Jack and Aaron who they're not the most you know sort of solid i mean injury wise of of players so it's there guys it's that depth would be phenomenal um yeah it's going to be interesting to see how it does pan out uh arsenal have also launched their new home kit uh last week which uh got a lot of stick from fans and i just think guys all right benga's gone so you can't moan about him anymore uh you know (laughs) Please don't start looking for other reasons to moan. It's not a bad kit. I'd buy it. I like it because I think it's a bit different than the usual same old all red with a little bit of white on the sleeves. I think it's different. I, li- I like it. And I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's just a kit at the end of the day. I don't get why people are so get getting so irate about it. It's a bloody kit, guys. I mean, come on. How old are we? Five? Uh, obviously it took us a while but we finally announced our new manager uh, which looked from being Allegri to then absolutely definitely going to be Arteta to then Unai Emery coming out of the bag Um, most fans seem pleased with this I for one am one of those fans I think that I think that Emery seems an an option where what I like about it sorry is there was um, I'm not sure how true this is but um, Gazdas said that nobody had like pulled out or anything nobody had like rejected but uh they, they had like several i think eight other candidates um but the board were that amazed by emery because he came in and he'd already got all of this planning and this idea of what he wants to build at arsenal which for me is exactly what i want i didn't want another temporary manager i didn't uh, not another sorry i didn't want a temporary manager to come in i want somebody that's going to be our next venger somebody that's going to stay with us for you know maybe 10 years that'd be fantastic i mean obviously that's a big ass but i don't think emery's that old so 
that would be great. I just want somebody that's going to be with us for the long run. Emery seems to have a lot of respect for the club and the history of the club. He uh, respected Arsene Wenger before, uh, well, when Wenger announced that he was going to, you know, be stepping down, be retiring or whatever. Um, he actually, uh, you know, he posted a, a tweet and said that, you know, he, he basically wishing him the best and respecting everything he did for football and everything which I think is really important for us to have a manager to come in that has that respect for Arson um, and un has that understanding of the club which is which is great and I'm really looking forward to it I think as soon as we can get some signings rolling I think that's going to be great um, moving on to Brighton now, uh, who have been very busy actually in the transfer window. I've, if I was a Brighton fan, I'd be fairly happy with this. A uh, new signing, Leon Balogun signs for Brighton uh, just earlier on in the week. Fantastic. Absolutely good stuff. I think uh, I think Leon's a defender. I could be wrong there. I'm pretty sure he is. However, they've also strengthened their attack with the signing of Florin and Don from uh, Deportivo. Brilliant. I mean, I've heard of this guy quite a lot actually in Spain. Um, can score goals. A striker that scores goals. What what more could you ask for, guys? Uh, and this guy's agreed a five-year contract with the club. Brilliant. Um, Fair play to Brighton, just getting their business done nice and early so they can uh, probably relax for the World Cup, I guess. <laughs> and it looks like Harry Kane is going to be captaining the England side ahead of the World Cup campaign. Uh, Gareth Southgate went on to say, Harry has some outstanding personal qualities and can set the standard every day for the team. Um, I think this is a good appointment i can't really complain because i can't think of many other people that probably deserved it more kane is on a next level to most of those england players in the team um i think if he can inject that into the into the team then that'd be fantastic i think um up there would would probably have been cahill and, and jordan henderson as well but i think yeah out of those guys i think out of the squad kane is probably one of few that that deserved the, the armband. Uh, Kane took to Twitter to say, a very proud day. It means a lot to me to be named England captain. A massive thanks to my family, friends and fans who have supported me through thick and thin. Moving on to Fulham and congratulations are in order to Fulham for winning the playoffs uh, against I nearly said Real Madrid <laughs> against Aston Villa. I wanted to say Real Madrid for some reason. Uh, and getting promoted to the Premier League. That man there, Tom Kearney, with the only goal of the game. Uh, moving on to Liverpool now. I will talk about something else. Obviously, that Champions League final later on in the video, guys. Uh, Mo Salah said he will travel... Well, Liverpool have said that Mo Salah will travel to Spain on Tuesday. So today... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, with Liverpool medical staff uh, for treatment on his injured shoulder. Now, it was reported that he would uh, miss the World Cup. That's now being said is unlikely that he'll miss it. It's looking a bit better and not as bad as what um, everybody originally thought. But um, a good time to announce a signing, I think, and a, a good signing that that Liverpool signed Fabinho from Monaco for 43 uh, 0.7 million pounds now it said that Arsenal uh, failed to sign him I'm guessing that was a financial issue I know that um, Emery's only been given 50 million um, at the minute and I, that would have used up a massive uh, amount where I think our main sort of aim is probably centre back and not the full back positions um, but yeah congrats Liverpool obviously um, I think the signing was needed as a bit of a boost for the fans something to look forward to for next season obviously after that defeat to uh, Real Madrid in the Champions League final so uh, Raheem Sterling actually came under fire from uh, English media once a bloody gun I did post a few tweets on Twitter being annoyed about this guys um, I'm not even a you know Man City fan or Liverpool fan that followed him at Liverpool Arsenal fan always rated Sterling I think he he gets a lot of stick and I just think just leave the kid alone for God's sake he's still really young um and it's not just that even if he wasn't doesn't matter how old he is like nobody deserves that much criticism as what he gets so he's got this new tattoo um which is getting the most 
stick over, basically. Um, and the tattoo is a, a gun, and he's got it on his right leg. Now, he's went on to say on Instagram, on, a, on an Instagram story, that his dad would, his, he lost his dad because he was gunned down. Uh, he said that he vowed that he'd never touch a gun. So he's not saying it because he thinks guns are cool and he's like all gangster and shit. He's not. He's had it because it has that meaning to him. He, obviously with his dad, it's what killed his dad. Um, and also he shoots with his right foot. So, you know, absolutely ridiculous. He, he also said it has a, an even deeper meaning as well. Uh, Real Madrid have announced that Gareth Bale representatives will meet with Madrid to discuss his future at the club. Now, he has had a pretty disappointing season up until that bloody Champions League final, I must say. I don't think Bale will be a Madrid player next season. Do you guys think he will? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but yeah, congratulations mainly to Bale and Zinedine Zidane. Um, for winning the third consecutive Champions League uh, title with Real Madrid. Um, I don't want to say too much because I know that some Madrid fans and some people that watch the game, there's a lot of divide. I'm going to say, obviously for me the game was ruined when Salah went off injured um, and I am going to put it out there that it is, I mean, you are blind if you can't see that that was Real Madrid's plan. That was part of Madrid's plan. Um, the, the number of incidents in which led up to Salah actually going off injured, I know it was the main one with Ramos that's talked about, but Salah was roughed around. That was what, in the first 20 minutes? Salah was roughed around. I saw three incidents prior to that where Salah was being pushed, pushed to the ground, shoved, elbowed, everything going on. I know football's a physical game, but it, it, it was, do you know what I mean? You could just tell he was being targeted. And all I'm going to say is, you know what, fair play Madrid, three consecutive Champions League titles is astounding, absolutely phenomenal. Congratulations. But for a club with that capability and a club that is supposed to be that professional, that world best sort of rating, you know, one of the best in the world, I think why should they have to resort to such dirty, disgusting tactics that you would expect to see at Britannia, you know, Bet365 Stadium at Stoke, not in a Champions League final coming from one of Spain's best teams coming from one of the supposedly best teams in the world why should they have to resort to such dirty i'm not even a liverpool fan but such dirty wrong sort of tactics absolutely disgusted at that and i lost a lot of respect for real madrid that's what i'm going to say because i don't want to get into trouble I have to say, I do like this time of the year because it's always just congratulating people on winning stuff. Uh, Rotherham are the next ones. Congrats for being promoted to the championship after beating uh, Shrewsbury. And Scunthorpe have appointed Nick Dawes as their manager. Southampton have announced that Mark Hughes has signed a three-year deal, uh, extending his contract with the club as manager. Uh, Spain... International manager Julian Lepetegui, I think that's pronounced, has extended his contract with the Spanish national team until 2020, an extra two years on that deal. And a huge news for Tottenham and Tottenham fans as Mauricio Pochettino signs a new contract with Tottenham until 2023. Now that, the previous last week's episode of Every Kit, we had a bit of a manager go around and I discussed what could have happened, obviously, if Conte left Chelsea and then Chelsea were going to go after Pochettino, which then would have made the meant that Willian would stay at Chelsea. <laughs> Mad. Um, now, I don't know what's going to happen. Conte's future isn't, uh, hasn't really been spoken about. Uh, St. Mirren have contacted Paul Lambert over a managerial vacancy there at the club. I just want to say, right, um, I, I think I did say this originally when Lambert was announced sacked from Stoke. Um, I thought this was really, re I thought it was really harsh of Stoke to sack Lambert. I know he went to Stoke with a job of trying to keep them up but they were pretty much already there was literally the, the coffin was nailed do you know what I mean he had a tough job he had a very tough job and I think it's very very harsh 
of Stoke to uh, to sack him, but all the best to Paul. Speaking of Stoke, though, I'd have preferred Paul Lambert to stay. I mean, when Paul Lambert was like announced, I said that I did say that I I really can't see Stoke stopping up. Like Lambert's decent, but I don't think he's the man that's gonna keep you up. Like, just I just thought they should have just stuck with Hughes. They should have let Mark Hughes get relegated because they were already down. I think they were. You know, we just knew they were already down more or less anyway. Might as well have just let Hughes see it out. Um, because they'd stuck with him for so long. I think if they'd have sacked him beforehand, then they probably would have had a fighting chance under Lambert. Um, it could be a different story, but they've actually gone for Gary Rowett, who's the, who was the, the latest Derby boss. Um, what the actual, like, where's the logic in that? He's never got a team promoted from the Championship to the Prem. I think he did he get Burton he might have got Burton promoted to the championship so I guess Stoke fans if you're worried about going down next season at least Rowett's the man that'll get you back up into the championship but can't see him being the man to get you back up in the prem might be eating my words a year from now might be but I highly doubt it and uh, Sunderland have finally announced their new manager who's going to be Jack Ross for next season he's obviously got a job on his hands there um i think anybody going into that job that is a, it's a tougher job than stoke in it and i think stoke's a big job and uh last but not least west ham have confirmed that james collins and patrice Havre will be leaving the club upon their contract expiring in the summer now ever was just um a short deal obviously collins has been at west ham for a long time actually been a bit of a backbone for their defense over the years um that is all for me for now guys i hope you'll enjoyed this episode of every kick if you've got any thoughts opinions suggestions or whatever leave me in the comment section and you might just be featured in next week's uh, episode of every quick uh, every kick even <laughs> every quick and uh, yeah with all that being said don't forget to leave a like rating guys if you did enjoy subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed guys let's get 2000 subscribers please as quickly as possible um and of course yeah any comments and stuff all in the comment section section for me check out my social media links in the description and with all of that said i'll see you guys in the next video